All right. So uh, in this homework, we're going to do I'm going to do a whole series of these. Which reactions faster? So I've got two reactions, top and bottom. Uh, in the top, you have an uh, an all allylic chloride uh, stirred in methanol at 20 degrees, and it gives you a methyl ether. In the bottom reaction, you have an alkyl chloride stirred in methanol, 20 degrees gives you a methyl ether. So the trick to figuring out these is figuring out what the difference is, okay? Using the scientific method, you always want to just change one variable at a time. Uh, so if I had two differences, you know, the difference here is in the starting material. So allylic chloride, primary alkyl chloride. Everything else is the same. Methanol 20 degrees, methanol 20 degrees. Chloride's a leaving group, chloride's a leaving group. If this were, say, a bromide, and I used methoxide, you know, if I make a lot of changes, there's no way for you to figure out uh, or predict what will happen. And if you even do the experiment, if you go in the lab and do the experiment and you figure out which reaction is faster, it doesn't tell you anything. You don't learn, you know, what the difference is. So here we've only made one change. It's a slight structural change in the electrophile. Nucleophile, temperature, all that stuff is the same. So then once you've figured out what the difference is, let that inform you uh, as to what should be going on. So in the top reaction, well, in both reactions, Chloride is the leaving group, right? So identify the leaving group, chloride. Primary, primary. This one is allylic. This one is not. So allylic just means it's on a carbon bonded to a double bond. What's the nucleophile? Well, the nucleophile is methanol. Methanol is a weak nucleophile, OK? So we get methanol uh, added on there. Again, a lot of you will want to do this. I don't know why people want to do this, but I see this every year. Every time I teach this course, I see people do this. This absolutely does not happen, okay? If I see this on your paper, it's wrong. You have to have a base. So to get this from methanol, to get methoxide from methanol, you have to have a base or you have to have sodium. So you only have this if you have sodium or lithium or potassium, some counter on it. So don't do this, all right? I, I hesitate to draw it up there, but don't do that. You have a weak nucleophile. Methanol is neutral. The oxygen is a neutral atom. And so it's going to be a weak nucleophile. Weak nucleophile, there's no strong base. There's no strong nucleophile. Therefore, let me put this up. So no strong base. No strong base or good nucleophile, this is going to suggest an SN1 or E1 reaction. Okay? Look at that flow chart I gave you in class. All right, so now you figured out that it's either SN1 or E1. Well, is it SN1 or E1? And it's clearly a substitution reaction. We lose a chloride and we bring in a methoxide. We don't make a double bond. The double bond in the product, the, the double bond in the product is already present in the starting material. So it's an SN1 reaction. So now you have to figure out which substrate does a better SN1, is going to react faster in the SN1 reaction. The leaving group's the same, so that's not going to be the difference. What's going to be the difference? Well, in an SN1 reaction, we're going to make a cation, correct? Correct. So. So the chloride will leave. Which one of those cations is better? That's really what it comes down to in an SN1 reaction. Rate limiting step in an SN1 reaction is formation of the carbocation. So this is the rate limiting step. That's the rate limiting step. And I ask you, hit pause, go away and figure out which one of these, uh, which one of these cations is better, more stable. Okay? It's clearly this one. You can draw a resonance structure. That cation is delocalized. One of the one of the charge one structure has the positive charge on the tertiary carbon. This is a primary localized cation. This is a very unstable. Alright? So all of that tells you this cation is best, it will form faster than that cation will, and so this reaction, the top reaction, is faster.